Hi everyone, welcome to part two. We're going to review how the spring and summer and new release scents um, are doing. This is part two, so what I'm doing is five more new releases, um, five more spring and summer. So a reminder, the new releases are being tested in a Doodle.12 watt element warmer in my bedroom, which is a fairly small to medium bedroom. I would say medium. And the uh, spring and summer are being tested in my um, laundry room, mudroom area, which is a long skinny room um, with a um, mini warmer that is the silver vine gets quite hot, I find. so. And also, um, they're probably roughly the straight, same square footage. So, let's get right into it. We are going to start with the new releases. The first one is Blue Hyacinth. So again, I'm using testers, extra testers that I have, which are a little over a cube. They're probably about one and a quarter cubes, okay? Just keep that in mind. So, Blue Hyacinth is described as florals from heaven. Pure Blue Hyacinth is all about the flower power. So this one here, I actually uh, got about 12 hours out of this. Oops, sorry. And I actually, I kind of liked it a lot more than I thought I would. It wasn't overpowering, but it was nice. I find um, maybe my bedroom is just cooler, but when I walked in, it was a, a cool, refreshing um, burst of floral, but it wasn't so much that you're like, oh my goodness. So I think I'm definitely gonna pick up another bar of this or a bar, sorry. Second on our list today is Caramel Sugar Cone. And it is described as, I'm gonna summarize here, gooey caramel, vanilla, sugar cone, and malt. Okay, this one is really strong on cold, but it was a little disappointing. Um, I got about 11 hours, but that might've been pushing it. I, I found it, for what I smelled on cold, it, it kind of, you thought it smelled like it was going to be a strong one. It, it wasn't strong, and I, I found even 11 hours might be pushing it, um, but this would not be a repurchase for me. Okay, next we have Darling Dahlia, which is heirloom peach, dahlia, and strawberry. So, I liked this one. I got about 13 hours. It wasn't extremely strong. It was kind of like a middle ground. Uh fragrance and I do have it so in my house I kind of divide my um, where I'm going to melt things depending on their strength so I, I have to use really strong things down in my open concept because it does dissipate um, and, and in my bedroom I would use like medium ones and in my bathroom I would use light ones and I guess that maybe that's probably what most people would do this would probably be a bedroom scent for me or, or the laundry room but I do like it and I will be picking a bar up for sure I think I might actually have one coming actually um, I ordered it before I finished my testing, so I was taking a chance. Uh, let's, let's get punchy is the fourth one we're going to talk about today. Okay, it's described as navel orange, cherry, and apple slices. So, um, I haven't done Paradise Punch official, uh, test yet. It's coming up soon, but I would describe this as, okay, so Paradise Punch is that strong person in the family that you know you can't ignore it this one is kind of like the background other person in the family that's kind of more mellow and you know just kind of I found it kind of just ticks along like it wasn't as strong as what I was expecting but it kind of held its own for a while um would I repurchase this or would I purchase this um, I'm, I'm gonna see how I like paradise punch in comparison um, I had about 11 and a half hours for this um, I'm going to see, uh, uh, the, the, the jury's out on this, still out on this one. Um, I'm probably saying no, but what I would suggest is if you like, um, or maybe you find Paradise Punch maybe a little strong, strong, this might be a good option for you. So, uh, stay tuned in part three, I'll, I'll go over Paradise Punch and let you know how that does. And then in the summary, um, video, I'll let you know what I would pick for everything. Okay, the last one, I do not have the little thing. I, I misplaced it, but it was Mandarin Splash. So, to say this, okay, I feel bad, but this was a, a really big um, dud. So, Mandarin Splash, um, I kept it in four hours, and that, I could not even smell it. Again, 
you know, I, I think I felt like when I got sick in February, it took away a lot of my smellability. And I don't, I mean, I feel like it, I don't know. Hopefully it will come back, but I don't know. But my daughter has a very keen sense of smell. She can smell things that I can't. So I told her, I said last night, please go up and check on that one for me because I just need you to check on it. So she walked in the room and she was in there for a long time. And so that's usually not a good sign. And then she comes out and she says, it's really faint. I don't know if I can smell it unless I'm standing right above the warmer. I said, okay, thank you. So I did have a friend that placed an order for Mandarin Splash, but I haven't submitted that order yet. So I messaged her and just said, you know what? Um, it's a really faint scent. I'm almost like, you know, barely any scent. So um, would you like to swap it out for a different bar before I put the order in? Just because I wouldn't want um, someone I know to, to pick it up and feel disappointed. And maybe that person is okay with almost a non-existent scent, but I have a feeling, um, unless I'm in the minority and it, it's just my house or my nose, I have a feeling that that particular bar will not be doing very well um, overall. And yeah, okay. So that's it for the um, new releases for today. So part two of Spring and Summer, let's get started. Havana Cabana. So this um, on cold, I really, really like it. It's um, pineapple, oranges, bananas, and berries. Oh, and by the way, Mandarin Splash is described as Mandarin and light woodsy notes. So light being the operative word there. Okay, so back to Havana Cabana. So this one, I, I said maybe I got 10 hours and that might have been pushing it. Um, I found it really faint. And I think sometimes, you know, you have pineapples, oranges, bananas, berries. There's nothing in there that are like the big base notes that kind of carry a uh, fragrance. Um, and I'm kind of talking that like pyramid where, you know, you have citrus and florals and, you know, and the bottom is like a lot of spicy woodsy notes. Like there's nothing really in here that carries it for a long time. And I just found it fairly light. Um, I'm glad I did this test because I would have, you know, I'm probably not going to pick this up. Maybe if it went on sale, I might pick it up, but I'm going to hold off on Havana Cabana. But if you like lighter tropical scents, this would be a good one to pick up. Okay, next we have Kahika Hula, which is passion fruit, mango, and papaya. So on the other hand, I really liked Kahika Hula. I said I got 15 and a half hours out of this. Um, this was definitely something that I really liked. I would say it was medium plus on the um, intensity, and you know I really was pleased with this one. I'm definitely going to pick up more of this, maybe even two or three. Yes, I love it. It's good. Okay, then we have lemon sorbet. Now keep in mind, lemon is not my big thing. Like coconut, lemongrass, I, you know, it's okay, but I don't, you know. So lemon, a lot of lemon, I'm thinking, as I'm melting more fragrances, I'm realizing lemon may not be my favorite, so. Okay, lemon sorbet. I got 12 hours, um, and that's fresh cut lemon and grapefruit zest and sugar cane. So um, I, I had this going on a day I was cleaning, so, I, you know, it's it smells like a cleaner lemon to me. Um, yeah, if I know it's popular, so uh, lemon sorbet, um, just not, not kind of in my desired group of fragrances, but it does well in terms of sales, I think, so it's been around a while. Anyway, lemon sorbet, there's not much to it. Lemon verbena, same thing. Um, I actually thought I was really going to dis dislike this one a lot. It wasn't as bad as I was thinking, and it lasted a fair amount of time. I think it had like between 15 and 16 hours. Um, it's described as lemon zest, lime, and verbena leaf. So it has more of a her herbaceous kind of background note to the, the lemon lime. So um, definitely uh, has its place in the Scentsy catalog, just not... Not one that I would prefer, so just keep that in mind, but it did last a long time. And uh, finally for today we have Lilacs and Violets. So I had a bar of this, I made some samples, and I also had some going for myself. And it was okay. Um, now when I had this testing in my laundry room, my, my daughter walked in and goes, oh my gosh, I love this. Um, and she's kind of picky. And I've, okay, so let me back up. Uh, a few 
about a week ago, I did up these 10, or maybe more, a couple weeks ago, I did up these 10 bags of 10 samples. So I distributed it amongst 10 people. Roughly, I think five to six of them had used Scentsy before and the other people hadn't. And when I, I asked them five questions, I said, have you used Scentsy before? Um, of, the, of these fragrances, what did you like? Um, third one, what did you dislike if there were any? Fourth question, in the, I also gave them a catalog. I said, in the catalog, is um, what fragrances would you like to try in the future? And the last question was, besides wax and warmers, what would you like to try? And um, I, I really didn't do it to like get orders and things like that. I'm just trying to get feedback. So if I give samples out, I want to know like what do people want to try? And um, so one of those fragrances was lilacs and violets. And I thought, well, what I, what I did when I picked the 10 fragrances is I said, okay, I'm going to try to pick like a little bit from each category. And what do I have? And, you know, stuff like that. So I had lilacs and violets. And where I wasn't super crazy about it, I'm like, oh, I'll make samples and that'll be kind of a floral that I'll include. So out of those 10 people, I think five messaged me back that it was like one of their favorites. And an interesting note, I would say almost 60 to 60 or maybe, yeah, 60% disliked vanilla bean buttercream and they disliked mocha doodle like certain fragrances that have been around a while so I it was a good thing for me to learn um southern sweet tea was a big winner um what else anyway I can go over maybe I'll go over the 10 fragrances and, and summary results of that what what I um heard back because it might be useful for some people do that in another video perhaps but anyway lilacs and violets so the take-home message is I thought it was going to be a flop in terms of um People liking it it's very polarizing people either really liked it or really didn't um, there's no middle ground but um, I will probably pick up another bar because obviously if your child likes it you're gonna do you know you want them to be happy she can melt it in her room and and enjoy it so um, that concludes part two so part three um, we will finish up the new releases and we'll continue with the spring and summer now Spring and summer has um, an additional five extra fragrances, but what I do, I have testers for satin sheets, pastelitos, uh, what else do I have? Weathered leather, um, I don't know, a candy crepe. There's a f five that kind of go in other groups, so it'll roughly even out, and so we'll have two more videos, and then I'll kind of summarize everything at the end. So thank you for joining me for part two. Stay tuned for part three, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.